convention can come anywhere if you ever do the show. For the first time ever, one love toy maker will get the opportunity of a life. Legendary toy company Mattel will make their toy and sell it all across America. But first, they need to present their toy to a club of experts. I look at over 2,000 toys every year. Jen Silver, leading toy reviewer in America. That's a great idea. Dylan Warren, founder of Dylan's Candy Bar. Thousands of toys across my desk and this is unlike anything I've ever seen. And Jen Hen, creator director of toys at Pixar Anime Studios. They make it past these experts, move on to the fiercest sisters of all. Serious business, and all these Barbies are mine. I'm Barry. I have a family of six kids, and I'm a telecom account representative. The toy that I invented is Andy Crusher. I've been thinking of this toy for some years. It was an addition from another toy when I was young, and I wanted to bring it back and to make it more modern. Can come into the mall, Nicole. The candy crew represents to me, my family, job security, and have a good life for my kids and be able to send them to college and have the things that they like instead of living from check to paycheck. If you have an idea, go for it. It doesn't matter. Jar, it's never too late to, to accomplish your goals in life. Thank you, Barry, for bringing me cupcakes. Ah, you're welcome. I see cupcakes. I don't see any toys. Yes, um, showing what my toy makes. What? Yeah, the toppers. Your toy makes toppers? Yeah. Tell me what this toy is it's called. It's called a candy crusher. You take the candy and you crush it into shapes and you can eat it. So, wow. And where are you from? I'm from Arizona. Well, I live in, sorry, I'm from Dallas. Okay, I now Dallas. I'm, can you might work for the federal government. <laughs> so you don't know what to believe. Barry, even your first name. Yes, it is. Yes. All right, open the door. Okay. You go in. You're going to get a majority vote from the mentors to move on to the toy box. We have a gentleman's agreement. You won't crush any of the toys? <laughs> yes. Okay. All right, Barry. <laughs> Good one, man. Nice right. to meet you. Thank Best you. Best of luck. Thanks. I've had this toy sitting at my table, crafting it, sanding it, and finally putting together what we have now. And now I'm going in front of the worst. So I hope they don't crush my eye into a million candies. Hey. I'm chill some cupcakes. Yum. I'm Barry. My toy is the candy crush. Fun. Well, tell us about it. This is a prototype, so not everything's working perfectly. But, uh, so you take candy, you okay. shape them to fit in that hole right there. Oh. Land, and take the mold, and then crush it. Put it down. Like mech, there it is. And this is a whistle. That's one half of the whistle. Okay. And you get the other half and do the, you want to do it? Just like. Lift it up, drop it in. Okay. See, this reminds Hot Wheels Car Maker. <laughs> the Hot Wheels Car Maker. Yeah. So you remember that thing? You drop these in. There okay. you go. Wow, wow. No, that's cool. That's cool. So. That is amazing. What does make? Um, so this is a pony. We have puppies for um, so lots. There's rockets. Can I try it? Yeah, uh, sure. What is the age you're targeting for this at this point? Uh, six. Uh, oops. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, sorry. How's that? I should have. You rushed the candy crusher. I'm yeah. so sorry. I oh, just sorry. candy crusher. That's all right. It's a type. I've had little kids do it, and it, and uh, it, is, it isn't a problem. And they've enjoyed this. They're able to use pretty easily. Yes. Yeah. I will see it works. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. In the toy industry category, has been really hot. Have you done any research on it, Carrie? And where the competition lies? I, no. I had it's, this. This was just a toy, not only, uh, on the food and side. Dan, what do you think of the candy show? Obviously, it's a prototype, but yes. through all that, making sure it's for kids to um, use and, right. and it's simple for. Um, I think for sure, send it to the toy box. Thank you. So, you're the cat expert. Coming from Delany Bar, where I eat thousands of candy products at the trade shows and the major consumer myself, um, I've seen a thing that takes candy and takes it and makes it an art like this. I thank send you. it to the toy box. Oh, wow. Thank you. This is innovation into the toy aisle. In a category, you're going to the toy box. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Congratulations. I appreciate it. Thank Great. you so much. Just extremely excited. Nurse. And I'm ready for the next round. <laughs> I am a warehouse creator. She is going to grade here in West Wisconsin. We created Connectimals, which are lovable little toys with interchange magnetic parts. You can make them into whatever animal hybrid. You guys hungry? 
a year and a half, Anna was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Weeks after that, I was actually for my job that I had for seven years. We were spending a lot of time at home there, and they were playing stuffed animals, and they want them to do more. And so that's where we kind of dig in of how can I eat these stuffed animals even more fun. I want connect them all to win really badly because then I have enough money to go to college to pay off being a vet. Hi, Kurt. Oh. oh, you're Hannah. All right, yeah. Is that a giraffe? A giraffe, a pig. <laughs> Can you give that thing to legs? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. You're about to go in and meet mentors, like the cow pig for jumping over the moon. What's going on in your brain? Oh, I'm excited and nervous at the same time, so. I told you, just enjoy the moment. Though. From tomorrow we'll be here, it's just a big honor. So yeah. enjoy the moment and see what happens. Thank you, guys. Thank good you. Luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. <laughs> We've never listened to your pitch anything like that before. We're just ready to head, head in there and what we've uh, made as a you know, father daughter idea. I'm interested in the overall picture. Next one is what? what kind of... Hey. Hey. Right. Hello. We like to end our invention collecting animals or connect them all. So. Right now they're kind of next up. <laughs> Came apart. Yeah, that's the whole idea. That's the whole idea? The whole idea is what can we do with more with animals for kids to make them more more pull? It's like Mr. Potato. For it is. Yeah. yeah. I, I collect animals. I have over 3,000 <laughs> rabbits and I've never seen magnetic particles. Yeah have a real problem with this because we really make sure kids don't slow down. There's always a safety concern with magnets in the toy story. The problem is if it swallows them and lodge in their system. This is all kind of a small part of it, and this is, you know, dangerous. Trying to envision the package and how you mark How do you get the message across that this is all interchangeable? You could have, in the package, you have one off. You know, if you want all the items, you can do, you can do. Oh my god, the accessories oh. is genius. That, that to yeah. me seems like a great mm-hmm. invest to, you yeah. know, every time accessorized with the theme or season, it, it helps it all year round. Yeah. How does this out in terms of cost to make? I thought it's $25. That's a little high. How much do you think this should cost? For one of them? Yeah. Fourteen hundred. That's the exact number I'm looking at. Okay. Do I have to ask you if it's in the toy box? <laughs> I, and it's fast. I'm so impressed that you just... And it goes it's in the so in the toy box. I love it. Sure. You know, as a toy, super fun. I would just have it ended with the magnets um, and the safety. Gosh. Uh... Coming up, the mints get real snooty and jerky. A hair pack. Hair that, that's exactly. every doll. And I don't sit right here. Today's trend is not like every three-year-old wants old. And later, the big decision I only love these toys is make it to the final. Stop me. Judges, watch the candy crush and I crush you. You really like Arnold Schwarzenegger. He sure does. You know, as a toy, it's for fun. I do just have an issue with the magnets um, and the safety. I have to say no. I'm sorry. Okay, Dylan says yes. Jen said no. I guess it's up to me. I love the concept. And this is something we're seeing this stuff talk. Fill in the void is key to success. So I believe this belongs in the talks. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. yeah we did. I'm very excited to see what awaits us. And even if it doesn't work out, it'll be all 100 worth it. Hi there. My name is Will. I live in Portland, Oregon. And I am an engineer. I invented Bitlux. They're a construction toy. They build three-dimensionally. So you can build anything you want with just one block. I've done uh, multiple crews in the past, but it would be really awesome to be a, a tenor full-time. That would just be a dream. What's up, Will? Hey there. I feel like you and I are maybe about to go on a prom date or something. You're rocking that three-piece. Oh. Thank you. How did you up with, with Bitblock? Well, actually, my process for coming up with things is just set a timer five minutes and come up with a chin before that timer's off. Really? Do something very similar to that, but it involves sandwich construction. What do you think makes a great sandwich? I love sandwiches. So today, you're going to this toy. Are you prepared to hear what they have to say? Yeah. yeah. More nervous? All of them. Of course, I'd have to. Okay, loosen it up. Sure. Loosen up. You're going to do a job. I have a lot of confidence in you. See you. You got it. Hey there. Hey. Oh, uh, I'm Earl. I'm uh, Will. These are bit blocks. So there. Ah. So, uh, bit block are a truly uh, three dimensional construction toy that allows you to uh, each other in six directions. You can make anything you want with just one to block. Uh, which means no more searching through a few ends of specialized people looking for that one that you like, distant fit. Yeah, yeah. So let's look at the construction toy category. Okay. It is the fastest growing category in the toy business. Last mm-hmm. seven years, it's sold from three million to six billion wholesale. You have major players, value to build all type creative things. You know, you build a Millennium Falcon, yeah. uh, build robots now actually move. Mm-hmm. What can we build here? Cool. So I created some examples uh, of a couple of things. This one here is a chicken. What's the name Funky Chin? I don't know, but it looks like it. Does it look like chicken? 
Yeah, um, it looks like a robot. This one here is a DNA strand that's like two pieces interwoven together. Just so I can build a DNA strand. <laughs> <laughs> a DNA strand! Here, yeah. every three of us build. Sure. Also created a number of uh, different uh, games that can be played with them. There's one advanced one, which is essentially a uh, tabletop strategy game. Oh. Each player builds robots out of the books. Mm -hmm. And the color composition of your robot determines attributes. Then you battle them against each other. That sounds that's interesting. The, I think what's cool is the um, advancement in creating a game after the game. That could be sure. very cool. Yeah, because I feel like that might be a way to different you from just in a roll kind of thing. Mm -hmm. block. Well, look, it's different, which is, that's a star. But you have to get that star into the great end product. Yeah, I think that's what, you know, a challenge you don't get. Well, um, I like the way these things gather on different sides. Um, I think it needs work. Right now where it's at, just can't send it to the box. Okay, what do you I, I do like the design of the blocks, unique and different looking, so it's pretty cool. But I'm not like totally impressed. Can't send this to the folks. Sorry, Motor. Right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just wish the X saw past the initial prototype and designs and get the full potential blocks. It may continue working with blocks, but even if I don't, I'm still going to be making things. Tinley, Illinois, and I'm a nurse anesthetist. Curly Girls United is a curly hair doll, which is very difficult to find, and it's really a doll that littles can identify with. The biggest challenge for us have been financial. We sold our old house and downsized. I have cut back on work, and so my income is lower, and have also taken on small debt in order to manufacture the doll. So some people do think I'm crazy, but seeing the happiness, the joy that little girls get from playing with the doll, it's really been the payoff for all of this work. This has been a process getting to this point, so that's why we have everything on the Curly Girls United doll, because we're confident that it will actually pay off. Hey, Margaret. Hello. Tell me what you're holding, Grit. I'm holding Honey. She's one of the Curly Girls United dolls that I needed. I will start a doll prize called Seating Hairline Guy United. That's a good idea. That I, fabulous. You should for that. Thank you, Margaret. Be a radiant smile. Oh, Beautiful you. personality. Thank you. I think you're doing really great in there. Okay, I'm going to open the door. You ready? I'm ready. One, two, three. Curly Girls United. <laughs> moment means everything to me because this is something where I can see whether or not my ID and the work that we put to it is something that was worth it. They would be devastating if they don't the dolls. Hello. Hi, I'm Margaret. I'm the leader of the Curly Girl United Dolls. I grew up on the south side of Chicago, a neighborhood. The girls and women that we knew had a variety of skin tones and gorgeous hair textures. It wasn't what we saw dolls that we played with. So I wanted to create dolls that celebrate our differences. Over the last couple years, you've seen a lot of diversity in dolls. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that way now that you're not needed at retail? Yes. Honestly, this realistic, soft, thick, curly hair, I haven't said it's really special. Um, I was worried about how many people have curly hair that this will do. It does a little bit of Only around 20% that have curly hair, and that's the reason why toy manufacturers have most dolls with straight hair. Now, this obviously is not the majority, but I'll tell you, most little girls love curly hair. You know, if they don't have they want it. It's just yeah. for girls with curly hair. It's for all girls who love dolls. Does it come with hair accessories? That's something that I definitely want to get into. If you're going to celebrate her, you definitely need some hair accessories. Because that's out. a huge thing. Hair 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 exactly. hair every... And I don't see that right here. I think that's key to the player. And right now, I see no trust up play. So I think you know, want to expand it. I yeah. need a chance. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I think the dolls are beautiful. But I don't see names dolls. I don't see personalities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, at Pixar, was saying, and it's Roy's King. Mm -hmm. or, you want to give personality a backstory. Yeah. That's definitely a bit that you have to take in order to kind of differentiate from everything else in, in the market. How much are they? $79.99. Sorry. <laughs> yes, we both took a deep breath. If you look at how quality 18 inch dolls, they're expensive to produce. Jen, what about about Curly Girls? Um. I do love your message, and I love that it's really nice. I mean, you have to feel it to really, yeah. you know, appreciate. So for that, I'll give a vote of this to the sweat box. Thank you. You keep this face. Come on. Fabulous to the dolls. They are good. I'm very concerned about, you know, 70, 79. It's not enough for the mask. Go specially competing American girl. I this is ready for the toy. Ken says yes. I say no. Dylan, it's up to you. Give me a name. Coming up, I just take no proofs. Yeah, well, if you... We call the kid Jingle. It's a lot of wins. It's a lot of wins. I win. Next win. <laughs> Keep it on the rest. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you.
bringing the dolls into the public. You know, it's like bringing your baby. You feel very vulnerable. This is something you've worked on and something that you've sacrificed a lot for. I'm very disappointed. Even though we didn't get to the toy box, I'm extremely grateful to have had this opportunity. It gives me a lot to work on. A.K.A. Surf City, USA, and I protect the surf. The toy I have is called Quad Ball. Old school. There's electronics, it's physics, it's mechanics, and it's a ton of fun. Quad Ball was developed by me about eight years ago when kids were young, and for years, and we had asked if my Quad Ball could e ever reach the four shelves and people could play and have fun with it the way that I did. That would be the ultimate dream. Now, this is your chance. Let's make it work. What's up, Chris? Hey, how you doing? Good, man. I like your pace of walking down the lane. Thank you. You win as far as fastest. Great. So, what is that? This is quad ball. It's a game. Cool. Well, you're going to go in there. You're going to pitch toy. Did you go over it last in your brain? I have to go over it a million times, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think the game is itself. If people see the game in action, they're going to want to play. If they play, they're going to want to I like what you just said. Get in there, Chris. Have a time. Thank yep. you very much. You got it. Pleasure to meet you. Me too. I'm 60 years old and uh, love to retire, but it's nowhere near in sight. But if I was to make some income from this game, I could hire. And then I could do more inventions. That would be fantastic. Hello, my name is, and this is my game, Quad Ball. Hi. Quad Ball. It's a game that consists of four paddles. Each paddle in all directions. Oh, wow. Tilting the paddles, you move the ball around. You try to avoid holes. If you pay in cushion, the reverse, you try to get the ball into the hole or under the hole of your opponent. Should we try to play? Let's push yeah. have some decks you have to have some ability to let your right and left hand know what you're doing. But it's not that difficult. And then if you have to score on you, then I'm going to do something like that. Oh, See, it's oh, I'm interested now. I'm yeah, going to the competition. competition. Yes. You play win the game. Cover of games don't sell. Right. So like pinball are you? Or what, what sort of. I just want action game that could be played on a table or any place for me. Oh. <laughs> I'm very Now, when you're playing competition, the idea is to get there. See, if you drop her, that's a point that's for me. Idea. Definitely. One thing I, you know, I'm enjoying playing with you, but I um, kind of hurt my hand. It got yeah, caught that here. can be done. If you hold onto the knobs, like, then your fingers are free. Yes. If you put your fingers under the paddle, yeah. it happens. So, yeah, it's something that, yeah. There's something nostalgic to me that being in wood uh, reminds me of a childhood toy. The look of it, it does feel a little nostalgic, yeah. and actually, it gives your justice. Like, like, you could look into different color choices, maybe different graphics, and points, yeah. you know, around yeah. these holes, so it could really help spice up a little bit. So, what do you think? I think, uh, in terms of who you're getting, it definitely is another kid. It's fun. Like, we all, and we caught on quickly, so that's, like, you know, a great mark of, you know, a, a great game. So, um, I would say yes to the toy box. I love on action games. It would be really easy to play, but you can play them over and over. That being said, uh... I think it's game on for judges. I say it's going to the Twix and it's game on. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is exactly what I mean. It's been a great day, but I know it's not a long shot. It goes on new panel. What will they think? So I thought at this point, so I'm worried about that. How you doing? Nailed it. Thank you. You made it to the talk. Thank you. We're going to lose the positive energy. Right. It's going to be when you meet our kids. Because the top. Oh, my gosh. The three toys made it tonight, and they're going to decide whether you move on to finals, and only one toy can go. Let's bring the four judges forward and reveal yourself to positive energy. Chris. Yes. Hi, guy. Perfect. So, Chris, this is Sophie and Grace, Kobe, Alira, and No. The this is perfect. I made this game. My kids, when they're almost your age, uh, this is quad ball. And the whole idea is to get the ball to fall your opponent's hole. It takes maybe a few minutes to get used to, but you do tons of... Who would play quad ball? Okay, so two people this side, two You have to have good hand control and eye coordination. Gotta have them with I and Z. Pins. Brains. Thank 
you no. Let's let Chris out of here. Great. I think it went. Hey, perfect. You know what he does is in his real job? What? He predicts. Whoops. Wow. So why don't you wave to Chris? <laughs> Really close point. I win tonight and I went to the finale. That was the greatest, greatest feeling that I've had in glass since my kids were born. We'll be right back after time. There it is. Hey, Barry. Just watch out. Candy Crush is gonna kill. Oh my gosh, Barry's gonna knock me out. Welcome to the toy box. Thank you. Are you nervous to be in here? To take a nervous pee before I... Not in a real one, you know? Just so that, that's how nervous I am. It's okay. Gotcha, fun. gotcha. <laughs> All right. There's four judges behind me that also can crush your dreams. Uh-oh. Do you want to meet dream crushers? Really, but I guess we have to. Yeah, let's bring dream crushers out. Crushers! Oh, whoa. Whee! So I'm going to turn it over to you. Okay, All sounds right. great. Okay, I want you guys to think of the candy crusher like something's just going to crush something. See that? See these right yeah. Guns right there. Whoa. Gives you big muscles. So when you crush the candy, I want you to think of the Terminator. Put that candy in there. Get the candy in. Give me your candy and put it in there. And crush the candy. Yeah. <laughs> when you talk this when you're playing, when it's lots of fun. He really like Arnold Schwarzenegger. He sure does. Barry, you're not Arnold Schwarzenegger. I'm sorry, and it's really weird. Crush, crush. Muscle, muscle, muscle. Eat that, eat that piece of candy. <laughs> yeah. I'll let you guys eat your... You don't want to eat it after I touch you don't know where I've been and you don't want to know. We do. We, we know right where they've been right before you got here. You told America. <laughs> you went. <there. laughs> exactly. Crush. And take it. And you got yourself a teddy bear shaped candy. Oh, guys, you want to come down and play with the candy crush? Yeah, come down. Let's get our fingers on some candy. I am a huge fan of candy. Candy, 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 candy. I wash my hands, dude. Sure. Yeah, let's wish it down into a shape. Yeah, that's perfect. Ready? Set. Can I do it? Yep, here we go. Push it down. You get sculpture that you can eat. And it's like just like a great engine. Okay, okay. Okay, All right, go ahead. I want to give a tip. Is Kay not sure a toy? In my opinion, no. I think it's creative, but I picture it in the art. I want my chocolate okay. candy. How popular would this toy be during flu season? Okay, that's <laughs> Very good, because we actually have a, uh, a version that come up candy that actually has vitamin C in it. Nice, and latex. <laughs> good job, everybody. Back to the chairs. Right, awesome. Candy Crush was fun. I'm really cool. I play with this toy all day. And one more thing. Three candy. Candy Crush. Candy Crush. Candy Crush. Candy Crush. What's up, buddy? What question? It's one safe to play with. It, it looks like a guillotine. Uh, well, if you put... cut off a kid's finger. Want a finger in there? It's actually say... Yes, go ahead. How do you think you're going to upgrade Candy Crusher? We have a girl version in different colors. And also when I have an adult version, moms could use her parties and put on your cake and your and cookies. Well, that's and- an idea. What if we stop making hungry for cupcakes? <laughs> <laughs> my limousine guy took all the way to a cupcake and we're near my own table. I'm sorry, you say you have a link? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll be eating the ABC about it. Barry, we'll see you back in the toy box for the judge's final decision. Right. Oh, okay. sticky hand. All right. So good. Hey, have a fun Thank you, Barry. Thank, Thank you, Barry. Who can sweat white crusher? Yes, we crushed. We crushed all those these. Maybe tardy up my arm voice, huh? Coming next, you won't blow your eyes. Going in the toy box, you don't know quite what to expect, but I'm feeling like it'll be quite the toy box turning in my head. Of, but uh, whatever is in there, we're ready for it. You guys made it. You're in the box. Oh, are you ready to judges? Because they're really ultimately just their fate whether you move on further in this competition. And let me just tell you right now, do you try to cut any other legs off and match them up. <laughs> okay. Judges, I have a couple I'd like to introduce you to. Hannah and Kurt. Me. Judges. Take it away, and I'm just going to tell you. Have a energy. Let's go for it. <laughs> so, the connectables, which long is the animals. So, it's these little round animals. They can cheese on all fours. And the big thing about them is you can interchange them and make whatever you want. <laughs> cool. All right, guys, why don't we get down? Let's play. I can get the idea. Shut up. So, I love how they're Everything pulls apart. You can mix and match any animal you want. Oh, it's so bad. There's something therapeutic about putting the hair and putting the leg hair and switch up and making whatever kind of animal you want. If you guys really want to, you can make like fucking one headed. Oh, oh a three head monster! Wow. Wow. Let's go back up to the chise and ask some questions. Decapitation! You can have a kin, the body of a bear, the wings of a bat, and the feet of a duck. Bum, bum, bum. 
All right, let's start with Sophia. Go ahead. Okay, I wanted to ask how old is 12. Oh, wow. I think it's cool that a 12 year old can enjoy it. Like, it's quite clever. What makes toy special? I think just the overall, it's a, it's a building, it's a plush toy, it's an action figure. It the only thing that makes it special is that you can make a dick. All right, oh, I think we can let Kurt and Hannah go. I think yeah. Great job. We'll see you back here in the box when the judge makes their final decision. Way to go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. See, there's half fun with it, and it's, it's, this, this is unreal. It's, it's fun, it's a dream come true, and it's exciting, so. so good job. <laughs> All right, again, we had three amazing toys, but only one can get out of the ground and become one closer to having a deal with Mattel. So to start the delivery, Toby, something you liked about Qual. It's challenging. It exercises your brain, and it's shaped like a super field. I like that. The thing I didn't like, is you can sort of see how it works. And that kind of ruins all magic. I like how um, challenging it is because that's what makes a good toy. Yeah. Let's move on to Candy Crush. Yeah, my favorite. Noah. Something you liked about the Crusher. You can mold it in shapes. You know what the higher of fifteen thousand dollar architect? Art artist mold it chocolate. Interesting. I thought it was a great I mean, it's like exciting when kids get to eat candy out of the game, but they'll appreciate it once they've made it themselves. What about the obvious thing? Hands are all yeah, over so candy. Does so that bother you guys? Yeah, it doesn't bother you a million percent gross. It's called a candy crusher. It's supposed to be dead. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We agree to the group. So he date on Candy Crush. We're gonna move on to Connect. What I didn't like about Connect dolls, probably. Coming up, the Jets have to make their tough decision yet. After the finale episode, one toy may have their toy met and sold by Mattel. And this awesome toy will be available for just immediately after the finale. Only at Toys R Us. How you feel? Because I said playing with it. Yeah, I liked it. I like a three and a demon. See, I like that. There's the thing it was. It's just a small like You can make a rabbit face giraffe. You can make a duck pumpkin face for Halloween. And the accessories are it's so unique and special. It's kind of neat. Yeah. Think how cool it would be if we could say put Alira's head on hey. my body. No. You have a big decision. Only one of these toys is going to make it to finals. You got to make a decision. We got to crush some dreams. I think we've come to a decision. I'm going to bring in the toys. Toyers. This is it. It's down to three people now. Chris. Mary. Kurt. Anna. It was a tough decision, but only one toy can go through the next round. My mind's racing. It's going back and forth. Now that one looks really good. Probably going to beat me. Have that deal with Mattel. Have your dreams come true. Your toy be made by Mattel and sold all across America. To walk in and see our toy on the shelf would just be, wow, that'd be the real thing. Lyra, floors. This is going to be really hard. There's an only one winner. Candy Crush? Will you make it to the finals? The magic ball says. Yes, definitely. Yeah? Candy Crush, Barry, you're in. No way. Hey, congratulations, man. I'm really happy that I did. Uh, this has been the greatest thing. Was six years old. It's this idea that I had then. And now I'm here getting ready to on the fuss for it with Mattel. Incredible. Amazing. Unreal. Chris, Kurt, Hannah, take toys. Kurt, so keep that energy. Keep that positive energy. Thank you. You're really you got it. Thank you so much. Barry, congratulations. Your toy has been selected by the judge. You're one step closer to have that sucker made by Mattel and sold all across America. Judges, you did a great job, and we'll see you back next week. And Succeeding here change our lives forever. Kansas in the house, Lori. I can't even say it. That's really good, but that's not that here. That looks something I want to play. That's the name we're kind of. This is messy. Play my unicorn. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs>